One of Washington's influential veteran newspaper columnists today called for the White House Social Secretary and the Secret Service Director to resign after a third person was reported to have crashed November's state dinner. The Washington Post identifies the crasher as D.C. party promoter Carlos Allen. Allen denies the charge. According to the Secret Service, Allen did not have an invitation but was screened at a hotel along with other Indian businessmen before going to the White House. Once there, the group entered the event without undergoing additional scrutiny. Sally Quinn is an author and columnist with the Washington Post, and she's the one that everyone woke up to today calling for Desiree Rogers, a friend of the Obamas, to either be fired or resign. When you found out yesterday afternoon, Sally, that um, there was this third person who had crashed the dinner, what was your reaction? Well, I hope that the meeting today where they're discussing national security, they will also discuss the whole issue of the White House gate crashers because all three of those people, the Salahis and Carlos Allen, could have had explosives in their underwear. So uh, even though it was a delicious story for everybody to read and quite fun, um, it was just as big a security breach as what happened with the Christmas Day terrorist bomber because the president could well have been assassinated. And it seems to me that there was a breakdown on all fronts. First with the Salahis, uh, there should be somebody from the social office examining all of the people who come in, the names, checking for the names, making sure they're on the list. The Secret Service didn't do their job either. Um, this is not the first time. Um, and then th 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 there was a whole breakdown on the part of the State Department because they had screened the Indian delegation and this guy had gotten on the bus with the Indian delegation. So I think that um, it, this, is, this is a bigger problem than just the social secretary or the head of the Secret Service. This is an image problem for the president. And we all know and we've seen it in Washington year after year after year when there is um, some terrible mistake made. Someone has to take responsibility. There has to be consequences. If they don't, then the president is going to have to take the responsibility and take the hit. So that their job is to screen the president, to help the president, and somebody should resign in order to make the president not look weak and vacillating. You make the point that um, Desiree Rogers, who was a close friend of the president's, uh, the White House would not let her testify. Um, and here's part of uh, what you wrote in the column today, that Rogers stayed and that the White House refused to allow her to testify before Congress reflected badly on the president. He, not a member of his staff, ended up looking incompetent, although it has emerged that a State Department protocol heir is to blame for the presence of a third uninvited guest. Both Rogers and Sullivan um, should step down. Yes, well, the problem is that if someone else doesn't take the blame, then, the, then everyone's going to look to the president and say, why isn't he handling this? And he's going to make a statement later this afternoon, we learn. Um, um, and I hope that he will discuss security all around, not just in the airlines, but in the White House. I mean, the White House security should be, that should be the most secure place in the entire world. Um, and so I, I think uh, Desiree Rogers is a very smart, very accomplished and successful woman. I think that she's in the wrong job. And I think that she made a terrible mistake by not having her own people and actually not being there herself to screen the guests for this first date dinner. And there should be no second chances. Well, you know, I think that this is clearly a, an issue that um, I think in this case she should resign. No second chances. Sally Quinn, influential columnist of the Washington Post. Sally, thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it.